Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Tuesday. It is the last day in March. Can you believe that? There are some things I want to share with you, so I thought that I would do the morning meeting today as a video. I hope you're all well. I miss you guys a lot. Um, okay, so today our affirmation is, I am grateful. I appreciate all that I have and all I've created. Um, and in addition to being grateful for ourselves and all that we've done, we can definitely be grateful right now for all the people who are helping in our community. We know that doctors and nurses and hospital staff are really putting in so much time to help people who are not well, and also people like delivery drivers and grocery store workers are really just trying so hard to be helpful. So I am very grateful to them um, and our first responders, our police, our firemen, all the people who are just really helping our community at this time. So definitely grateful for them. Our word of the day is laborious. It means difficult or exhausting, like the job of pushing a big, heavy boulder uphill would be a very laborious kind of job. I hope you're not finding any of the work that I've been sharing with you to be laborious. Um, it's meant to help you keep learning and not to feel impossible. So please reach out or have your parent reach out to me if anything is feeling laborious to you. This week in our newsletter, the third grade teacher shared um, two sound alike words. Sound alike words, and the official word for them are homophones. They're words that when you hear them, they sound exactly alike, but they're actually spelled differently and have different meanings. So if I want to warn you about some danger, I spell it W-A-R-N, but a worn pair of jeans is something that's very old. They really sound the same to your ears, but you would spell them differently and they mean different things. Okay, same thing for very and very, right? Um, if I want a berry with my breakfast, I'm talking about the berry that is a fruit. Okay, um, if I need to bury a bone in the backyard, I am digging a hole and putting it in there. So they are spelled differently and they mean different things. And those are called sound alike words. Um, maybe today you could think about any other words you know that are sound alike words too. Josh is our thoughtful third grader this week. We were very excited last week to celebrate Mackenzie. Um, and this week we are celebrating Josh. So in the Google Classroom, I'll show you in a minute, um, you're going to click on the Thoughtful Third Grader section, and there's a Padlet for you to interview Josh. The Padlet looks like this, okay? And you just need to click the pink button, and it will pop up. And you're going to type in your question, and then you'll just hit off the screen, okay? If you type it in, um, it will save. I just hit off because I already wrote my question. What is the best book you ever read? Josh, you can comment right below, okay? And only Josh should be commenting. Okay, I want to remind you that just because we're not in school, the same school rules we have still apply and that it is almost April in third grade and we understand that we always put a capital letter at the start of a sentence, right? We always capitalize I. We have to use punctuation, okay? And this is schoolwork, so please do not be asking about Roblox names or other off-topic things in this Padlet. This Padlet is really just to interview Josh and ask him our questions. Okay, so I just wanted to remind you or show you a few things that maybe you're not sure of. Okay, one is Get Epic. This is a fabulous site. I've sent emails to all your parents to have you guys all sign up. It's free through our district. If you go to class link, it's going to be one of your options, okay? And when you get there, it looks like this. There's so many really great books, a lot of wonderful titles that you'd find in the library, tons of nonfiction, tons of fiction. You could search here um, for things that you would want to read about. I've assigned a few things too. Okay, so please um, check out Epic if you haven't. It's different from Raz Kids, um, and I think it's really fun. My daughter has been reading a lot on the site. I put her as a student because she was really interested, and she's like at level six. You can even earn badges and awards for the different things that you're reading. So um, check out Get Epic. Okay, also our newsletter looks like this. Okay, and it's been sent to your families. It's also in our Google Classroom, there's our sound alike words. 
and another word of the week from third grade. There's math challenges from Mrs. Coulter. These videos will help you understand our math content this week, which is all about equivalent fractions. This video here is exactly from the New York Ready book and it goes over what you're going to be learning. Okay, this is a packet you could pick, um, a parent could print it for you if you need more practice with your fluency. Also, Mrs. Falco has a great read aloud for you. There's some informational um, reading about the coronavirus and this is geared just for kids. So if you've got questions, this is great nonfiction reading to learn more about what's happening. There is um, a science lesson here about inherited traits. And then I have writing lessons for you here that I would really like you to watch so that you could get ready. Tomorrow we're starting our blogging challenge. Everyone's gonna hop on the blog tomorrow to begin by writing a blog post. Um, and these videos will help you to think of some ideas, okay? Um, and then in the last section, there are things you could click on from SEM, um, like Padlets to write down what you're learning about, flip grids that the school has shared. So there's a lot of cool things for you to explore here in this newsletter, okay? Um, okay, so in our Google Classroom, there are two things I'm asking for you to do um, and hand in through Google Classroom. One is a check-in and the other is an ELA assignment that's due tomorrow. So in our Google Classroom, um, there's lots of different things to see. What you wanna be doing when you get to the page, it always sends you right here to stream, but you always wanna click on classwork, okay? The daily check-in is gonna to post today at eight o'clock. And it's um, a question, it's form for you to fill out about um, what you've been doing at home. So I need you to be filling that out, okay? Also in the ELA section, time and sequence is a lesson that's due tomorrow, okay? Um, the lesson in your ELA book is all about using time and sequence when reading. So I've taken that skill and created an assignment for you to do. Okay, you'll watch this video, then you'll watch this video, and then you'll hand this Google Doc in, okay? So those are some assignments that you will need to work on and hand in, the Tuesday check-in and the home learning ELA. I also wanna remind you that um, I've been reading There's a Boy in the Girl's Bathroom. Okay, if you haven't been able to find that, there's a section that says um, read aloud. Here it is, home learning read aloud, okay? And you're going to see that um, more will post today, chapter 41, and then tomorrow, 42 and 43, Thursday, 44 and 45, and we finish the book up on Friday, okay? So you should be um, listening along to Bradley's story. You can go back to any part of the chapters that you've missed. I started at chapter 34, which is where we left off at school. So um, definitely please follow along with our read aloud as well. Okay, I think that is everything. I hope that the morning meeting um, as a video was helpful to you this morning. Um, I miss you all and look forward to catching up with you soon. Have a great day.